Hey guys, we're here in downtown LA for E3 and we just got done with the PlayStation conference and they're out here proving that when it comes to winning E3, it's about quality, not quantity. This is Fandom News. Instead of bombarding us with dozens of game trailers, Sony took a different approach this year, showcasing a few of their exclusive games. And they look pretty awesome. Let's start with Spider-Man everyone's favorite smart mouth web slinging superhero. We got to see more of the game in action, with Spidey having to fight off a prison break orchestrated by the Sinister Six. What really stood out about the game was how varied it feels. The combat was fast and used a lot of environmental effects. Plus, the game kept switching things up so that Spidey was always doing something different during the demo. But who was that mysterious sixth villain at the end of the demo? Why was Spidey so surprised? Might it be a traitorous friend? We also got our first look at Ghosts of Tsushima, a samurai action game developed by Sucker Punch, the team behind Infamous and Sly Cooper. It's a gorgeous looking game with a vibrant color palette full of greens and reds instead of all that gray and brown that so many games have nowadays. And Naughty Dog wowed us with the preview for The Last of Us 2. The game not only looks like a grittier extension of the first game, but they've made history with having Ellie be unequivocally gay when she kisses her girlfriend during the demo. Oh! It's super cool to see a gay relationship shown so openly in a video game, not as like a DLC bonus or in a side webcomic later, but right there as part of the plot. Kudos, Naughty Dog. There was more at the show too. Death Stranding left us confused, but intrigued. And Resident Evil 2 looks like a survival horror fan's dream come true. You can find out more info about those games and more in our fandom E3 2018 coverage. That wraps it up for PlayStation. I'm Jack and E3 has only just begun. So for more on every game you're excited about, keep watching fandom.